Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Tonight we're going to be going over uh, accessing XML files within Shiva. So uh, I made the decision that I was going to put all my um, settings, game settings, within an XML file. So I went out to the Shiva website and found uh, some information on using XML. I'll go ahead and put the link on my blog. And from now on I think I'm going to have uh, information about the show that's not in the video. We'll put it on the blog. And so for every video, I'll have a link um, to the blog post on the actual video itself uh, that you can click on and, and go to the blog and get the information. But it's on this website here, on this page that I've got loaded. And it's pretty simple. You just um, There's a class called XML, and there's some functions in there to load the XML. So what I'm going to do is um, jump over to Shiva. Let's get the game loaded up. So double-click on Radioactive. Um, let's go over to the scene. Let's just load the scene real quick and hit play and just make sure that it still works the way we wanted to from last time. It does. Ball drops. Nothing spectacular. Uh, let's go over to our code tab. Go back into the main AI where all of our code takes place. Now the documentation on the website says that uh, the easiest way to handle this is through a state uh, because a state is something that continues to loop um, once you enter it. And so this is a good way to continue the loop until our XML is completely loaded. So on enter, this gets called as we're first enter, entering this state or this loop. We're going to go ahead and put the code that they asked us to put in there, which is XML receive. You can see the autocomplete there. It's asking for two things. It's asking for a handle. Um, this is where we're going to load the XML into. And then the string, that's the location of the file in the system. So. Let's add a variable because I'm sure we're going to need to refer to this again later. We'll do h for our handle and we'll call this config because this is our config file. This is going to be of type XML. We'll click OK. We now have a variable that we can use. And to do that, we can say this because it belongs to this AI, hconfig. So to access it, we access it similar to a function, um, even though it's a variable and it kind of seems strange, but that's just the way it works. Um, once you get used to it, it's not so bad. Now the string on the website, it says that we access it in this manner. We say file colon forward slash forward slash and then the name. I'm going to call this config.xml and I'm just going to keep it in the root file of, or the root folder of my, my um, project. So I don't need to do anything other than that. We'll hit save. We'll hit F7 to compile, make sure that's correct. We got zero errors, zero warnings. I'm going to run over to Notepad++. I've created this XML document. It just has a root element and then the setting that I want. And what I did is I save as and I stuck it right here in the root of my project. And I'll keep that open in case I need to refer back to it so I can make changes on the fly if I need to. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to loop until we get the status uh, or we get loaded, uh, get the XML loaded. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste directly off the website. Um, not all of this code applies, but it's a good starting point. So we'll paste this in. Basically what it's doing is it's creating a, a variable that retrieves the status of the XML loading. So it's going to query, in a sense, where we're trying to load the XML, which for us is hconfig. And then if the negative 3 comes back, it means that the parse failed. And then it dumps us back out to our idle state. Um, if it's negative 2, there was no XML. dumps us back out to the idle state. And then if it's 1, it means that it's completely loaded. So it's going to put some log message, some uh, messages in the log. And in each one of these cases, you'll notice that we're writing to the log just so we know what's going on. Then it's going to do something with XML. So this is a function that we would define so that it will go off and parse the XML. In fact, I'll come over here to functions. We'll hit plus to add a function. We'll do parse. XML, it's a good name for it. Let me close that because we're not going to do anything with it right now, but we'll just plug that name in so that it is ready for us. Parse XML. And then again, it's going to dump us out to the idle state. Now, we haven't created an idle state. That's part of their code, so let's come over here and create an idle state. And again, I'm going to close that because um, our idle state is not going to have anything in it. It's just going to be blank. All right, so let's come down here and change this variable as well. What it's doing is it's reading from the root element, 
and it's converting it over to a string so that we can write that to the log and make sure that we write in the XML properly. So I'm going to do Control S for save. F7 to make sure, let's compile it, we get no errors, no warnings. Okay, so the last thing you need to do is um, we've got all this set up, but we haven't actually called it to, to actually start. So we're going to go into the on in it um, because this is what runs as soon as the game starts. And we're just going to call this dot get XML. It fires off that uh, state and gets things going. So we'll save again, hit FS, F7 to compile. Everything, the general tab, let's hit play to run our scene. Okay, we got no errors, no warnings. The ball dropped just like we expected. Let's go over to the log and you'll see that indeed it did go out and do some caching of XML and then in the log it shows us that the XML completed and here is the XML. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. In the next videos we'll show how we can implement some of these um, variables and things that we read in and we'll also get the ball moving. Um, you know, no pun intended, but we'll actually um, fire the ball off in a direction. Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, please come to my blog, subspacegames.com. There will be notes uh, regarding the show. So we look forward to seeing you there, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.